there's changes coming to YouTube. There's a thing called COPPA. It's the Children's Online Protection Privacy Act. As of January 2020, YouTube is changing its rules because of COPPA. All channels need to be designated as having videos that are meant only for 13 years old and older or meant for under 13 years old. I have been forced, because of my first grade through eighth grade math videos, to set my channel as viewable to anyone under 13 years old. Now, there's some Algebra 2, like at the end, all of the high school geometry and all of the GED videos will not be affected because they're meant for students that are 13 or older. So how is this going to affect you? Well, the first thing is the comments section will be removed and you won't be able to ask for math help for first grade through Algebra 1 and some Algebra 2 because students that are under 13 do use those videos. But I'm on Facebook and you can comment or message me for help and see any video description, including this one, for a link to my Facebook page. You can hit the like button to tell me I was able to help you on each math video. The second thing that's going to change is end cards will not be allowed. End cards are rectangle boxes that appear at the end of videos that you can click on to see previous lessons or a playlist. Now I have links to previous lessons and playlists in the descriptions of my videos. Hopefully this will still be allowed. The third change is you will no longer see ads that are meant for you based on videos you have watched before. And sadly, this means I'll make less money for all the work I do making my math lessons because some advertisers are not going to want to advertise on my channel. And you can help me by going to the PayPal link in the descriptions or by becoming a patron of my work on Patreon.com. That link is in there also. Mm. They stopped doing YouTube fan funding in 2017, so some of my descriptions have that link, but it won't work. The fourth change, possibly my videos will not be found by searching on the internet after January 2020. This means it might be a good time to become a subscriber. I am a little concerned because I read that it's possible that some of the notifications won't be used either. The fifth change, YouTube will not collect your personal information anymore. If you watch my math lessons from first grade through the middle of Algebra 2 or so, they won't collect your personal information because it's set for kids. And that's a very good thing. That's good for you. The sixth change is info cards will no longer be available. Info cards are links to previous videos or playlists that are found by clicking the little icon. It's a circle with a little eye in it in the top right corner of some videos. That's not going to be allowed on these videos that are meant for children under 13 years old. But the greatest change will be no comment section on these videos. I'm sorry I won't be able to answer your math questions or give you a heart anymore. I've appreciated all the kind words you've given me over the years, and I'll miss reading about how you were able to complete your homework or pass a test with my help. I will be available on the Joanne School Facebook page, but it may take me a lot longer to answer because I'll be away from my computer. I have to be sitting in front of my computer to see your comments or messages. So stay strong, stay focused. I believe in you, I'm proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.